Hi everyone, welcome back to Movie Man Beyond. It's continuing the 31 Days of Halloween. We are on day 11 and we're going to be talking about Cherry Falls. Let's do it. Yeah, Cherry Falls came in at a time when there was a lot of these Scream spin-offs, you know. What, um, I know we did last summer. Uh, Urban Legends, that kind of thing. Uh, it stars Brittany Murphy and Michael Bean. Essentially, it's this killer that's killing virgins in a town called Cherry Falls. Obviously, hence in the name of Pop and Your Cherry, which is losing your virginity. And... It's even hilarious because the police barge has actually got a couple of cherries on the police barge. And I just thought it's pretty funny the call place Cherry Falls and your, the police department actually has the cherries in it. But yeah, it's one of those movies where, like a lot of them, they tend to follow the same tropes. There's a slasher running around killing teenagers. <clears throat> and they've got these sort of motives where it's more about... Uh, not just mindless uh, killings they tend to do it for a purpose that's you know they've been uh, abused or something along those lines and it's just a little fun movie that you can put on and uh, sort of get lost in I watched it last night um, with the missus there was a lot of things though when I'm looking back on oh, Oh, that's uh, a bit cheese. I'd only seen it a couple of times before, and it had been a while since I'd seen it. So I was trying to think what the who the killer was, and it took us about five ten minutes. And then I clicked, and I was like, "Oh, that's what it is. It's not that. It's this." Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so someone's off, and all the virgins off, and you know the town eventually decides. Well, the teenagers that they're gonna have like a um, a sex party, so they're gonna lose the virginity so they don't get killed, and it's basically just following that. Like Brittany Murphy is obviously a virgin, and her dad's a cop, uh, Michael Bean, so it's all sort of like involved, and there's something else going on that that kind of covering up, and you know, works out, and you find out eventually what it is but now it's you know it came out um was it mid early 2000s that's very i'm sure and just like you say it's along the troops of scream and that type of thing and if you know that sort of stuff it's you can just whack it on watch it and there you go uh i say cherry falls because it's not one that particularly people talk about a lot it doesn't have really memorable killer it's not oh shit i remember that the they're not wearing a mask and <clears throat> but no it's uh i think it's one that people tend to forget about when they mention horror movies and i thought no let's let's check it out and again and see what i thought about it it's not the best by any means but just something different for this halloween season so yeah guys thank you for watching that was cherry falls and i'll see you in the next one Okay, guys. Catch you later. Bye.